el chisme. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Cheese Report. I'm your host, Danny Flores. Get rock on those days. Guys, as you see in the title above below, where you guys are watching me, yes, it's finally happening. Jenny69 and Benny Sullivan having a collab together, making a song together because we know Jenny69. You know, she's butchona shit. But before I get into it, go grab your snacks, come back, sit back and relax. So guys, yes, Benny and Jenny. Whoa, that's Whoa, I should be a rapper, Benny and Je No, all seriousness. Benny and Jenny69 are collabing. And let me tell you, they were receiving a lot of backlash. And my dumb ass did not screenshot anything. They have posted it on Instagram. Well, Benny posted it on Instagram and TikTok. And then Benny said, yo. It was taken down by them, but we're going to get into that right now. But if you guys missed it, this was on Benny's and Jenny's freaking Instagram post, story, whatever you want to call it, their little collab. I have it muted because obviously copyright reasons. But as you guys can see there, Benny, Chris, Christian blends again. And this part of the song, it sounded okay. It sounded okay, but that was Benny rapping and we did not hear jenny's part but that's because it was taken down out of nowhere tiktok and uh instagram took it down but this is what benny had to say about the situation because he was bummed out that it got taken down but i was like are you really bummed out or did instagram and tiktok really take it down or did you guys take it down for getting a bunch of hate so this is what he put bro ig and tiktok keep taking the video down had half a million views in four hours shaking my head. They don't want to see us win, bro. So now I'm wondering, like, is he saying the truth? Like, are is it really getting taken down by TikTok or Instagram? Or did they take it down themselves because this whole backlash? When I say they were getting backlash, they were getting backlash. But like I said, I did not save the freaking screenshots. The video's not there anymore. Hopefully they upload it again and we'll review the, the comments because a lot of people do hate on Jenny69. And now that, you know, she's becoming a rapper in the industry, it's like, bro, for real? Like, are you going to sing corridos or are you going to be a rapper? Que pedo? What's, what's the deal? All right, guys, so they put it back up, and honestly, I don't hate the song. It's pretty good. It's pretty dope. Hopefully, you know, I could put it up there for you guys, the little clip. If not, it's going to be muted. But yeah, in my opinion, it sounds like a good song right now. And the comments seem to be, you know, everyone's liking the song. But anyways, guys, let me know your opinions down below of this whole thing. If you actually heard the song, let me know since I have more time on this video. I do want to talk about another situation that happened um, yesterday with this or two days ago with this whole Maria, Maria Stella and Bo getting reproposed or Bo reproposing to Maria, whatever you want to call it. After five years, bro, I did post it on my Instagram just in case you guys haven't seen it. The comments were hilarious. But yeah, people were saying this is for clout. I don't know, guys. I'm probably speaking about it too early. They have not, you know, put out a vlog. They said they were going to put out a vlog for us to stay tuned. Why he proposed, why he decided to propose, repropose to Maria. You see, I'm getting all confused because who, who reproposes within five years? I don't know, guys. I'm hella confused on this situation. That's what I'm saying. Propose, repropose, quien sabe. But a lot of people also stated the fact that, yo, why is... Bo and Maria copying let's do makeup flower arrangement or even the letters and okay I don't think it's a, a thing of copying but you know a lot of people nowadays that work with the letters the backdrops have the same things honestly they have the same things I don't think it's you know they're copying let's do makeup and Blexin and no that's that's not the case they just got the letters and he reproposed, proposed, whatever the case is. But yeah, I did find it weird because uh, they said they were going to renew their vows. But I was like, yo, a lot of people do that 25, 50, 75 years after marriage, after they get married. So I don't know. I'm really confused. Bo said there's a backstory to this. We'll see what happens. We'll see what he says in the vlog. But yeah, I found that interesting and kind of funny because people are saying, yo, this is for reviews. Their views are going down and they just want clout. I don't know. I'm just here giving my opinion. But 
yeah, let me know what you think about that situation. Because like I said, re getting reproposed five years. Let me know, guys. Okay, so now I'm curious. I'm going to search up what does it mean to get reproposed to after five years. Okay, let's see what you, okay, let's see what Google has to say. Um, uh, what does engagement mean? No, not that. If a man doesn't propose, okay, not that. Dating five years and no proposal. Nope. Wait, time for ultimatum. Oh hell no. But no, I don't see I don't think I see anything about being a you know a big thing after marriage, you know. After five years. Let's renew our vows. That's what literally Bo's thing said. So last night I proposed to my wife or reproposed to my beautiful wife of five years. It's been the best five years of my life. And I feel like it was a little time. It was time for an upgrade on her ring. Time for us to renew our vows. There you go. Saying renew our vows after five years. Some of you guys might be like, why did I and aren't we married already? But there's a little backstory on our journey and reason on why I did this. So stay tuned and keep an eye out for our new vlog. I love you, my queen. So apparently there is something. There's a backstory to this, which I do honestly want to hear um, because I was very confused. I'm like, at first when I saw this, I was like, wait, you guys are married already, right? And why are you doing this again? So I do want to hear the backstory he has to say. And yeah, I just find it interesting. So I do want to know what you guys think. If you guys have any opinions, if you guys actually with your person did this after five years, I understandable if it's, you know, 25, 75, whatever the case is. But five years, uh, let me know down below, guys. But other than that, hopefully you guys do enjoy your Friday, your weekend. I don't know if there's going to be a double upload after this. But if there is, I'll see you guys there. If not, I'll see you guys on Monday. But other than that, this is going to be the end of the Cheeseman Report. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. My name's Danny and I'm out. Peace.